Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief, all right, in Bangkok, about to board the flight or leave the hotel to go to the airport. So this is, as usual, got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday completely mixed up. But here I am, all right, okay, 7 in the morning, uh, sorry, 8 in the morning on Wednesday. So this is officially your Wednesday message for week 48. This is your chief after spending three days in Bangkok with Kuna, JR Meyer, uh, V Partner Dave, Joel, Amril, Theo. Okay, all the amazing corporate warriors in Thailand. And the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. Okay, guys, putting together amazing strategies, plans, final touches to how we are going to celebrate all right, to go through our journey on the most amazing year of this amazing organization, 2023, is our 25th anniversary. It's our greatest milestone, all right, our greatest message to the world that regardless what all has happened in the past 24 years, we made it to 25. When the world doubted whether we'll make it to two or five, all right, we proved them wrong and made it 25. And I'm so grateful. And I recognize the fact that the reason, after spending three days with Datu Sri Vijay, all right, I realized that the reason why we survived for 25 years, why we grew into the most successful, the greatest story in the network marketing uh, industry is because of him, his philosophy, his messaging, all right, his concepts of building a team, building an organization, all right, on principles and DNAs that have never been heard about or talked about in the network marketing industry. And spending the two nights with him, listening to him address everyone, including myself, I wanted to share on this Wednesday message something that's important to all of you guys. See, over my last 24, 24 years of being your upline, representing the great ones, Japadas, Bismarck and Datu Sri Vijay, a lot of people have asked me, all right, what do I need to know? What do I need to do to become a successful networker, to become a max out king or queen, all right? To make it in this, in this great industry, in this great company called QNet. And today I'm gonna to give you the answer, guys. And it's pretty simple. And I want you to listen very carefully because this applies equally to the new guys watching me for the first time, just signed up. Welcome to the greatest journey of your lifetime. This applies to those who have built a reasonably sized network, Right, started making some good money, 1,000 US, 2,000 US, and also to the guys who are managing huge teams, all right, uh, the great ones of our industry today, uh, including the VCs, V elite leaders, AVPs, uh, V partners. This is your chief. Okay, at 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm, I'm usually going to sleep at 8 o'clock in the morning, but now I'm unbelievably wide awake, guys. Okay, so here it goes. Listen carefully. I think the first thing that everyone has to gain one knowledge, one breakthrough, all right, is that your potential is far greater than what you understand, right? That all the limitations that you have in your mind, you were not born with it. You acquired it through negative experiences, negative exposure to morons who tried to limit your limitless potential. So the first thing you have to realize and you have to take back and you have to remind yourself, the, the old networkers I'm talking to, is your potential is limitless, all right? You can achieve anything you want to. And this is a God-given right that has been given to you. Do you understand? It's not uh, something that you, you, you learn about. It's not something you, you, you search for. You have it. You were born with it. 
The mistake most people make is they allow the rest of the world to, to push it into a dark place that you can never find it. Your potential is limitless. Your potential is limitless. You can be anything. You can achieve anything you want. All right. You are born to fly, guys. That's ultimately it. Okay. The second thing uh, that you need to understand that you are capable of doing and learning new things because network marketing is something you never did before. Don't fear it. It's not rocket science. All right. There's enough information there from the eight basic building blocks to the welcome video to tons of videos uh, on VTube Plus. Okay. You belong to a great system. You have an upline who's going to help you. So don't freak out. This is not rocket science. Network marketing is the easiest, simplest business for somebody to learn and do. Okay. And if you summarize network marketing into one simple philosophy it requires you to learn the art of talking to people talking to people talking to people in the form of presentation 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 basic training handling their objections giving them more knowledge all right and don't freak out all of us started talking to people one-on-one -on -one, coffee shop home meetings. We were all not born to go on stage and do what we do today. We learn, we grew into that position and you will grow on this journey. All right. So don't freak out as long as you can sit in a coffee shop and talk to your friend, your cousin, your brother and sister about how great this business is, how great the products are. All right. You, you started just like me, just like Japa, just like Dato Sri Vijay, just like all the V partners. That's how all of us started our journey. All right. So you need to learn a little bit, not too much. Don't overwhelm yourself with knowledge and all this stuff. Just learn a little bit and move on. And you will grow along this journey. All right. Okay. The third thing you have to understand is that as much as this is a simple business to run and build, all right, there are going to be all kinds of challenges, all right, which will hit you, which you will realize, okay, which is going to be difficult, painful sometimes. All right, you may not understand it. In some situations, you're going to panic, all right, because you don't know what happened. First rule that everyone uh, doesn't realize is that not everyone is going to say yes. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting somewhere because not everyone is ready to embrace financial freedom. Not everyone is ready to embrace changing their lifestyle completely. And for you to expect them to, it's cool. But for them to comply, it's not going to happen all the time. So don't freak out. Some of my closest friends, closest relatives said no to me. I'm still here. All right. I'm still financially free. Okay. So don't freak out. Okay. I'm preparing you. Don't freak out when bad things happen to you, like rejection, no support from anyone. People laugh at you. Okay. And results are not going to fall on your lap. All right. You have good days, bad days, good weeks, great weeks. All right. Bad weeks. Okay. All right. Uh, sometimes I know people who have struggled for years before achieving their first check. Imagine this. I know people who have stayed loyal to Japa Dato Sri Vijay, who have attended every training, like perfect downline material. OK, did everything by the book, learned everything, applied everything to perfection, didn't see results for months, in some cases for years. I know Max Out Kings today who struggled to earn one check in the first year, right? I know people who struggle to earn, you know, weekly checks in five, six, ten years and then suddenly had a breakthrough, okay? So it's normal. So if you're not seeing your desired results or if your results has declined for whatever reason, don't panic. It's normal. It has happened to me. It has happened to everyone, okay? Because this is not a job where you go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home and get paid a salary. This is a business and every business is ups and downs. But if you build it right, if you follow the system, okay, if you're consistent, you are switched on, that you have your mojo, you have your dream that you're willing to fight for and die for. You understand? If you're switched on, guys, basically, all right, uh, the results will come. And I think the only secret I have taken back which I keep repeating last week, this week, let me repeat it back again to you. The only philosophy about results here is if you don't quit, you will make it. You cannot fail. It's either quit or continue building QNET. That's it. Two types of people. 
All right, you cannot fail. And, and, and sometimes challenges comes in different shapes and sizes. It's okay. The whole world is not going to embrace the network marketing industry. All right, most of the markets that QNet is in today doesn't even have regulation about network marketing. Surprisingly, QNet has been the pioneer in creating regulations, all right, as required in most of the big markets today in the network marketing industry. Actually, the rest of the companies in the industry should say thank you for QNet because we are the one in the front, all right, going into a market, facing all the problems or challenges. And then we convinced the government to create regulation and law to regulate network marketing. But we went through great challenges to create an environment, all right, that people can calmly, safely build their network marketing business. But in that process, it becomes tough. There's challenges. Sometimes the challenges are just at the ground level. Sometimes it reaches the media level or the internet level. And this is not good sometimes. Sometimes there are people who use our complain our company to scam and cheat people that's even worse all right so you got to build it the right way you got to build it to last you got to make sure the right training and information goes to everyone and you find out anything wrong in your market in your group in your country stop it okay and it, what are you doing anything wrong come tell your uplines come tell the v come tell qnet we'll sort it out okay so there's going to be challenges throughout this journey and i think you need to learn all right how to face this but you're not alone you have your uplines your downlines your your grand uplines you have us the v you have me japa dato sri vj you have all the v partners okay we've been through this before so we will hold your hand and take you through it so don't freak out okay and if you're watching my wednesday message right now and you're going through a tough time all right some challenges maybe your organization slowed down okay or whatever it's okay it has happened to all of us I need you to stay strong. I need you to remember your dream. I need you to remember why you're doing this. I need you to remember that this too shall pass. All right? However great the challenge you're facing, I promise you, if you hang on, if you hold on, all right, like Sati says in his module at VCon, if you don't give up, I promise you things will get better. You will rise again. Your checks will grow. Everything will be okay. I promise you that. All right, just stay strong. Remember your reason. Remember why and who you're doing it for. And we are with you every step of the way. Okay, please stay strong. If you don't quit, you will make it. I promise you. And finally, guys, after spending two, three days with Dato Sri Vijay, watching him over 24 years, I realized one of the most important things that you need to learn, you need to know, you need to acquire is the skill and art of building a team. Because network marketing, unlike any business on the planet, all right, is not an individual sport. It's a team sport. Okay, now World Cup fever is on. It's about teams winning. No matter how great an individual is, they can't win a game without the team coming together. And you guys need to understand that you today, all right, have to understand that if you want to reach that big checks, the max out checks, if you want to become one of the great ones who go on stage and tell your story, okay? You need to build a team. And this is a skill that most of us are not born with, all right? We don't grow up understanding how to build a team, all right? Maybe in school we played some sport, maybe sometimes a little small team or gang we have in school or something, but we don't learn this skill. They don't teach us in university. They don't teach us in school. And Dato Sri Vijay taught me from day one the importance of understanding the art of building and sustaining a team. And he said, that is going to be your secret of success. So even if you're a new beginner today with one or two downlines or 10 downlines, or you're one of the veterans with thousands of downlines, remember the most important fundamental skill you need to learn, the most important breakthrough of knowledge and application that you need to know is the art of building a team, all right? And, and, and this is so important. The first thing about building a team is that you need people. You need people to believe in you. You need people to follow you. And that requires you to be able to articulate and to have a crystal clear vision of where you want your organization to go. Because to lead people, you've got to tell them where you're going. All right. To build a team, you have to be the benchmark. You have to live a different life. You cannot be the, the loser moron we all were when we were younger. You are now an upline. People respect you. People follow you. Therefore, you got to raise the bar higher, live to a higher benchmark. And basically, 
all right, lead these people. Okay? You got to live life differently. You got to show them that you are willing to make the sacrifice. You're willing to pay the price. That you are there for them. Not only in the sunny days, but in the darkest hour. You need to understand the art of establishing trespass with everyone. Trespass, getting permission from them to lead them, to guide them, to be their mentor, to be their, their, their coach B or coach A or whatever. You got to learn the art of establishing trespass consistently with them. And trespass needs to be rebuilt and rebuilt and rebuilt. All right. Most importantly, you got to push them to succeed. Because a team is not about you succeeding alone. A team is about rhythm, raising yourself to help mankind. You raise yourself and then you raise your leadership. You got to learn the art of helping them earn. All right? And that's how they believe in you more. You got to push them out of their comfort zone, regardless how they feel about it. You cannot fear losing them, but you have to establish trespass before you push them every single day. All right? You got to build a concept of family like what Dato Sri Vijay does. You got to love, you got to care for them. All right? And you got to have this united organization that goes, travels together, builds markets together, attends and runs the systems together. There's so many elements about building a team. All right? You got to learn the art of confront before conflict, that you must allow them to speak. You must be an open door. All right? That you cannot be a dictator. Dictators don't last in network marketing. You got to be a compassionate leader. You got to be a loving leader. And you got to always promote the art of confrontation. Don't allow there to be conflict in your organization, or not everyone is going to crumble and fall. Your organization won't last. All right? And ultimately, you got to be a leader who is there to serve above self. And then your people follow you. All right? Remember all this. There's so many things more that I'm going to share in many videos. But I think the final jigsaw piece puzzle is the art of managing a team the art of building a team the art of leading the team this is fundamentally important you see guys you're not building for today you're not building for tomorrow you're building for the next hundred years you want to pass this business to your children to your grandchildren all right so remember this business is not rocket science there's some basic stuff you have to learn but you have to apply it and you have to keep building no matter what and ultimately guys before you can push others, learn the, uh, learn the art of pushing yourself. Before you speak, think. All right? Whatever you say, say from your heart. Lead only by example. And ultimately, this is your life, your journey. Leave a legacy. That's what you want to do. All right? So this is your chief heading to the airport, flying back to Malaysia. All right? I love you guys. Welcome to week 48, guys, okay? Few more weeks before the year closes. Push, push, push. Raise the bar higher, all right? Cancel all your holidays, guys. It's time to make 20, close 2022 with a bang, right? Love you, guys.